Hello folks, Tim Mosker here from Stonebake Games. So uh, today I'm going to do a follow-up to a video um, I did a little while ago uh, about combining shape key animations with armature animations uh, in Blender for use in Unity. Um, and basically this involves uh, adding additional uh, controls to your animation uh, using your shape keys uh, that you can layer on top of a, a standard uh, Unity uh, or a Blender um, armature-based animation. So there was a question I had from a friend um, about how you would, uh, rather than combining shape key animation with an armature animation, just have a pure shape key animation. And now I looked into it and uh, there's, there's a couple of ways of doing this. So I'm going to show you uh, probably the better way, um, the slightly simpler way, but it means you actually do the animation in Unity rather than in Blender. So um, you can use the Unity mechanism system rather than the, uh, the Blender animation system. So. This is um, a basic cube. Uh, now what you could do, if you wanted to do a shape key animation combined with an armature animation, is just add a single bone to this, just a, a one bone armature, and then parent the, uh, the, the mesh to, the, to that bone and then perform your shape key animation uh, as per my previous video, um, uh, uh, this one here. Um, now just follow the, the steps in that tutorial and you basically will achieve what you want to achieve. However, if you don't want to add an armature to, to your mesh, uh, and you just want shape key animations, uh, then you can't export pure shape key animations from Blender into Unity. So what you have to do uh, is actually um, do the animation in, in Unity, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So here we go, basic cube. Um, I'm in um, object mode at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is just add a basis shape key to this, uh, which will give you the base mesh from which all the other shape key animations will, uh, will uh, derive uh, in terms of relative position. So I'm then going to add another one, and I'll add a second, a third one here. So I'll just leave them as the key one and key two. And now what I'm going to do is uh, add a couple of um, simple shape key animations to this. So let's see, let's say I grab this uh, top face here, and now I'm going to. So what I've, what I've done here is I've selected shape key one. So then this will only apply to the shape key one. Basis will stay exactly as it was before. So let's say I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Okay. And then shape key two, I'm going to take the bottom face and let's just scale that up like that. Right. Okay. So if I went back to object mode and then slide these up, you can see shape key one changes the size of the, of the top face. Shape key two changes the size of the bottom face. And what I could do is do both of these together, for example, to make a really pointy pyramid. And uh, um, basically you can change any, either of these values. Uh, independently uh, and they will both apply to the cube so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export that as an FBX and I'm going to do that to um, my animation test models folder I'm just going to call this cube FBX export won't take very long because it's a nice simple mesh private unity that should appear here we go here's the cube Drop that into the scene. Uh, now you can see when you import a, an FBX with shape keys, you'll see these two shape keys here, and I can increase and decrease those um, in the inspector here. And you can see exactly what happens to those um, based on the. Uh, so the one difference here is that it goes from zero to one hundred rather than zero to one, as it is in Blender. Uh, but that doesn't really matter for our purposes. Uh, but the, what we want to do is we want to add an animation to this. So we can um, click on the, on the cube model here. If we go to the animation tab, so this is where you actually prepare your animation clips. This is exactly what you do in Blender, except now you're doing it inside Unity. And I'm gonna click create here. So this will automatically create um, a, uh, an animation, uh, animator controller. Um, so I'm just gonna click okay there. And you'll see in the project, this has now created a, um, a new animation clip that we can now start editing. So if I go back to the cube, go to the animation window. So just uh, got new animation, doesn't really matter what we call this. We can create any number of clips here. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Now what, what you find here is you can open up the property uh, panel here and you'll see all of the things that you can animate using the mechanism system. So I'm just gonna plus out here. It's got a whole bunch of stuff, but the bit we want is the shape keys. So you, you can see here they've called them, uh, in Unity they're called blend shapes. So I can add a uh, blend shape and I just need to scroll across and hit plus here. And I'm also gonna add the other one, blend shape two plus 
to add that here. And I can just use the uh, the mechanism system to hit record. So this is um, these are both uh, set to zero in the initial um, keyframe. So I'm just going to add another keyframe, let's say half a second here, and I'm going to hit record. Uh, scroll across to here, and I'm going to and I'm going to increase this to 100, and I'm going to increase that one to 100, and then um, hit save for that, then scroll across to here and this one will automatically now, or uh, the second um, keyframe will be back to back to normal there. So what should happen now is if I hit play, you can see that the both shape keys are now being applied in this animation clip. Now what I can do is I can offset these, I can drag this one over here, drag this one over here, hit play and now we've got a slightly slightly more interesting animation not really sure what you'd use this for but you get the idea okay so that's uh, that's my clip um, now what I can do here is now bring up an animator um, the animator window I've got my animation here uh, is automatically prepared for me um, and it's got the uh, the clip uh, applied to it there uh, so what I can then do is add this to the um, uh, the animator part component here so in fact it's already been added for me um, automatically when I clicked the create uh, button in the first place uh, now what should happen if I hit play this should start running there we go and you can see if I go into the scene view you can see that it's running automatically and in the animator here you can see it's just looping through the new animation clip that we prepared and that's all there is to it uh, you can create any number of shape keys and animate them in exactly the same way. You can uh, create any number of uh, clips which you can then add to your animator in whatever um, state machine you want. And uh, there you go. That's how you do a pure shape key animation in Unity um, using uh, shape keys that you prepared in Blender. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, please let me know if you um, have any other um, questions uh, in the comments and I will uh, attempt to answer them there. Um, but thanks for watching. And I'll have another tutorial for you as and when uh, I feel like making one. Thank you very much.